Good morning. That's right. And this new tentative agreement, it comes after nearly eight months of stalled negotiations. And we've seen those workers returning to campus here at Northridge. This not only affected just one or a couple of campuses, but all 23 system wide, including Long Beach, where we saw picketers yesterday. The walkout lasting just one day before a tentative agreement was reached between Cal State officials and the union representing almost 30,000 faculty members from professors to counselors and coaches, among other workers. The Union, the California Faculty Association, called off the strike late last night, announcing a deal that includes a 5% pay boost retroactive to July of 2023 and another 5% bump for faculty next July. The agreement also increases paid parental leave from 6 to 10 weeks, addresses the issue of smaller class sizes, and increases the minimum wage for the lowest paid faculty members, something that students we spoke to are in support of. The professors are undervalued, yet they're given all this pressure to raise the next generation, to build the next future. I think they're wonderful. Like, they care for the students, they make sure, they really make sure that we're doing well. So I think they absolutely deserve the pay. While this tentative contract still needs to be ratified by both the union and the board of trustees, Cal State University trustees, it is expected to be approved. And we can tell you that all 23 campuses are expected to be fully operational today. Live at Cal State Northridge, I'm Mario Ramirez. Back to you. Certainly some good news. Thank you so much, Mario.